So you just got a new camera and you want to take your hobby and turn it into something, maybe something more. Maybe you want to turn it into a business. And so here are five ways that you can, steps you can take to get a photography business started. Hi, I'm Katie. I'm a brand photographer from Dallas, Texas, and I'm here to help photographers get their business off the ground to turn their passion into profit and not just an expensive hobby. So one of the things you can do, you're like, hey, maybe, maybe I'm good at this. Let me figure it out. Well, step one, shoot a lot. Take a lot of pictures, build your portfolio, figure out what you like to shoot. That might look like, you know, when I first started out, um, I kind of photographed everything and anything because I was still learning how to even use my camera. I don't have any formal training in photography. I didn't go to school for it. In fact, when I was in college, I was actually too intimidated to actually take a photography class because I had a roommate who did take a photography class and back in the day it was still on film and she talked about like the critiques and that freaked me out and I was like I like if this is gonna be an art form or like a hobby or something that I want to enjoy I don't want to be critiqued on it so anyway I never took a photography class so when it came to when I bought my first camera and back in the day that was a DSLR when DSLRs were still new I practiced and I took pictures of everything and anything. I like figured out the light meter inside of my camera. I figured out the different, um, you know, modes on my camera. And then when it, I felt like, maybe do I want to turn this into a business? Am I good enough to turn this into, you know, something I ask people money for? I first built a portfolio, and what did I do? I asked my coworkers if I could photograph them. Um, I had a couple of coworkers who were either newly married or uh, recently engaged, and I was like, hey, can I photograph you for free, no strings attached? If you like the photos, you like them. If you hate them, you hate them. But, um, you know, I wanted to practice with real subjects and not just like, you know, a bowl of fruit or the tree outside. And so building a portfolio, getting scrappy, using your resources, using the people that you know. Um, and, you know, it helps when you, you're friends with them and so they support you. And actually, one of the things that you can do is you can you'll really be able to learn a lot from just you know photographing a lot all the things um along the way i also um you know had networked with other local photographers and um you know i was interested in weddings and so uh, a friend of mine was like hey i have one coming up i already have a second shooter but if you want to come as the third shooter you're more than welcome so at the time like i said i was working a nine to five job in a cubicle with a manager who was <laughs> obsessed with her job and i was like i don't want to end up like you and so i was like hey what the heck why don't i take this saturday um i'll go with this photographer and just check it out see what it's like and it was so much fun like the contrast between like my boring dust job and this you know weekend uh, you get to take pictures of people and people are having a good time and everyone's happy and there's wedding cake like it sounded like a dream and that's how I was like okay I made my goal to get into weddings so all of that to say start with building a portfolio start with honing in on the types of subjects that you would like to be photographing. Share the pictures with the people who are in it and they love the photos. I'm like, okay, so you're getting like good feedback, you're getting positive feedback, you're like, okay, so maybe I can turn this into something more. Maybe this is a side hustle, maybe this could even be a full-blown business. What do you need to do next? When it comes to actually charging for your services, you need a way to collect that money and yes you can take cash and yes you can take checks but if you're planning on making this like a longer term business like a legit business then I would highly recommend from the beginning to open a business bank account and why would you want a business bank account what if you're like not really sure you are collecting money for photo shoots that sort of thing um, and then maybe you have like a full-time job or you have a personal bank account and you put them together if your business grows you're gonna want to know what your total income is and if you're also getting a paycheck from somewhere else you don't want to commingle those 
together. So in order to keep them separate, get a business bank account. So the next thing you can do for making money from this side hustle, from this business, is tell people. Tell people what it is that you do. You know, it, it's helpful to start something like an Instagram account where you can share your work or, you know, if like the more of your friends or whatever are on Facebook, you can start a business page over there. But when it comes down to it, you need a way to basically advertise, publicize, let other people know that you're offering these services. And then once you have like a little bit more money, then you can put that money into a website. So you have a professional online presence, but you don't need that from the very beginning. As things change, you learn a lot as you go. Like you're once you're still in learning mode, you're like, you, you wouldn't even know what to put on a website necessarily. Or you're like, I don't know. So why don't you start, start simple, start free, start easy. And you can do that with something like on Instagram. And then as you're going along, as you're figuring things out, as you're like, okay, I, I do want to photograph kids or I do want to photograph babies. Okay, then let's hone in on that target client. So that would be like the last step of your startup phase is navigating who it is that you want to work with, who it is you want to photograph. Is it people? Is it headshots? Is it weddings? Is it high school seniors? Is it kids is it families is it you know landscape is it horses like literally it could be anything is it food is it products is it this is it that early in my photography journey i learned that i did not want to photograph children in fact one of my very first technically paid jobs so i was working in a corporate environment at the time and the company had a auction they have why don't I contribute photo session did I know what I was doing no um, value on it I don't know uh, <laughs> but I was like hey it's free um, if they're bidding on it it's going to a good cause like no harm no foul she wanted me to photograph her daughter who was three at the time I had no children so I you know I didn't know anything about kids <laughs> But I quickly learned that kids are not the best, you know, listeners, subjects. Um, I'm not a kid whisperer. I'm not a baby whisperer. So I figured out very quickly that that was not my, that was not the subject that I wanted to photograph. Um, like for me, I photograph businesses um, for and create their content for their websites and social media. That is a really good fit for me but you have to find what's going to be a good fit for you and the only way to figure that out is to kind of say yes to everything kind of shoot everything and figure it out find um, what you like the best um, and then whatever you don't like don't do uh, so yeah those are the steps that I would take to figure out like okay you got a camera you're like maybe I want to turn this into something more than just a hobby so Number one, go photograph everything and anything. See what you like to photograph. See what kind of like feels good to you. Next, if you're ready to collect money, go open, or even if you have already collected some money from photo shoots because you started to charge people some money, open that business bank account, go get an EIN, go to a bank, look for one with no fees especially if you're in startup mode and then next you can have a way to uh, publicize advertise your new business your new side hustle and another great thing is that if you're only starting with like social media is that if you decide you're like oh no i don't want to do this anymore or i just wanted this to remain a, a hobby then like you're okay and then finally as you go along photographing all the things, you'll figure out the things that you do want to photograph and the things you don't want to photograph. Start narrowing down what it is that you do. And that might change over time because like I said, I started with weddings and after a couple years I quickly learned that weddings aren't as magical necessarily as uh, as they felt at the beginning. And then I've, I pivoted to high school senior portraits and then after that, which is what I'm doing now, uh, I pivoted to brand photography, which is a uh, photography for uh, businesses, their websites, their social media, their marketing, and that sort of thing. I hope this video was helpful. Again, I'm here to help new photographers get their businesses off the ground so you can turn your passion into a profit. And I'll see you next time.